Turning to some of the challenges, you know, you're talking about sustainability a, a short while back. We, we are going to be hearing from the Children Investment Fund Foundation uh, about some of the work that your government is doing with them on energy. Uh, what are your other efforts that you're taking on in areas like sustainability? Because things like water, for example, are a real problem in some parts of, of Maharashtra. So I think uh, 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 first I must speak on energy because energy is something which uh, requires a lot of sustainability because uh, we have been generating energy from fossil for many years and now uh, we are trying to change. So uh, in Maharashtra, I must tell you that uh, uh, for agriculture power demand, we decided that we will, we, we actually uh, generate uh, 16 gigawatt for agriculture use and we decided that this 16 gigawatt will be transformed on uh, solar and this year itself we uh, set a, a goal to achieve 8000 megawatt and I must tell you that tomorrow I am giving the LOI for 8000 megawatt we have actually bidded, bids have been successful and in 18 months 8000, 8, 8 gigawatts, 8 gigawatts of energy which has been up till now fossil will be totally transformed on solar and next year again uh, subject to grid stability because we'll have to work on grid stability again 8000 megawatt or 8 gigawatt of uh, energy we will transform on solar so this will be a record in in uh, less than three years i think 16 gigawatt of entire power demand of agriculture will be put on, on, on solar mode. Having said that, we are also working on uh, hydro pump storage. We have entered into MOUs worth uh, 29 gigawatts, uh, which we'll be creating in next four to five years. There has been huge transition in the energy sector. And I feel that in next 10 years, 50% of our energy should come from, uh, you know, non-conventional sources and uh, uh, non-fossil uh, uh, sources. Also, in other sectors as well, uh, you see, uh, let's take example of Mumbai. Mumbai has been uh, a city which has been fairly developed city. But you'll be surprised that in Mumbai, for 2 crore population, the entire sewage of Mumbai was not treated, but it was settled in balancing tanks and it was actually discharged in the sea. So entire coast, which we boast that Mumbai has beautiful chapatis and beautiful coast, was actually stinky because of this sewage. After so many years in the Modi government, we created, uh, you know, entire benchmarks for treatment because in India, there were no norms. What uh, type of water should be discharged after treatment in the sea? So we created all the norms. And today, Mumbai Municipal Corporation has actually started uh, building those STPs and in three years will discharge entire treated water in the sea. So the Mumbai sea coast, you will see like any other sea coast in the developed nation. There will be absolutely clear water, there will be no, uh, you know, stinky uh, atmosphere. So these are the things which we are, we are actually creating. And it's not just in Mumbai, we are doing the same in Pune, we are doing the same in Nagpur, we are doing it in almost all the cities. So when it comes to sustainability, I think uh, 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 Maharashtra is, is one state which is investing heavily on sustainability.